happy new year everyone today i'll be talking about 12 things you need to know when living in winnipeg manitoba if this is the first time on this channel and you're thinking about living, eating, sleeping, investing in Winnipeg, Manitoba, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, however you want to get to us, because we got your back in moving to Winnipeg. So the first thing that you need to know is that um, Winnipeg is the capital of Manitoba. It's a very, um, it's a very large city. Um, it has an average of about a million um, in population and basically it sits between the meeting point between the Red River and the Assiniboine River. Now the second thing is the beaches. Now in Winnipeg you have access to lots of beaches and nature. Now um, most of the beaches are quite probably um, 45 minutes drive away from from the central uh 45 to an hour drive away from the central but we have lots of spots in which you can you can go and just unwind and relax and participate in um different um, um activities uh, which um they have a lot of skill skill trails and um, a lot of great working spots so and also um if you want to get in touch with nature there are lots of beaches you could go to that um you could just unwind and just um you know have a nice time so it's a great place to live in um if you if you love nature so the third is the weather now winnipeg is <laughs> being known as uh, people call winnipeg um winter peg because um, it's a little bit chilly here it's a little bit cold but um um it's it's f um, I, i'm always when, whenever i'm talking about win um the weather in winnipeg i'm always relating it to the fact that um the, the weather is not that bad as far as i'm concerned Com compared to other parts of uh, manitoba especially those the places of the north it has and how uh, the very um good weather as far as i'm concerned yes it's a bit cold yeah but it has a considerable good weather the fourth thing we'll be talking about is lots of food option now winnipeg has lots of food option because um winnipeg is it has um diverse cultures it's, it's, it's we have a multiplicity of cultures in winnipeg there are lots of people with, with in different from different tribes different countries coming together to live in winnipeg and it, it, it brings about um some form of um um great options when it comes to food now we have different restaurants um cooking different meals for different um tribes or country you know um you have different um food options as far as um winnipeg is concerned and you don't have to worry about the fact that probably and when you get there you won't be able to find um the, the food um your 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 kind of food there's every likelihood that you will get um um your kind of food in winnipeg because it has it has a multiplicity of different countries coming together and uh, people from different countries coming together and different cultures and then next i'll be talking about is the beer now winnipeg also has um, a lot of spots you can go to and wine have in always say that i love my beer too i love to have um to hang out with friends uh, and that is um one thing I, I i appreciate about winnipeg there are lots of spots you could go and hang out you know take a couple of um um liquor or whatever beer that you like um and um, just on wine 16 I'll be talking about is the quadrant now Winnipeg is divided into the the south the central the west and the east Winnipeg so um wherever in which um you want to live um you could live within um, those particular major four quadrants the seventh thing is recycling now Winnipeg is known to be a city that loves to recycle um when I go out to to, to to throw away my garbage um i've always found out that we have more of the recycling than the actual garbage so it's a it's a city that um, loves to recycle stuff the eighth thing 
you need to know is Winnipeg is pet friendly. When I when talk about pet friendly, everywhere you go in Winnipeg, you have you see pets everywhere, dogs, cats, and there. But people move around with pets, uh, with pets everywhere. So it's a pet friendly um, um, city to live in. Um, people love pets around here. An average you have. An average house must have uh, one or two pets <laughs> in Winnipeg. So, an uh, average household must have one or two pets in Winnipeg. When you go to um, the malls, the, the the stores, or whatever, you see people um, with their pets, um, and and that is uh, a community that that love um, is, uh, that is pet friendly. So, if you have, if you if you have a pet or they about Winnipeg is a place that you need to consider. So, number nine, biker. So. If you love cycling, Winnipeg is a great place um, to live uh, because we have extensive bike network covering large sections of the city. So if you love biking, Winnipeg is a place um, to be considered to move to. So the tent is Winnipeg has the most affordable child childcare options and kinder kindergarten services in the whole North America. So Winnipeg has um, the most affordable child care, um, um, uh, child care services, um, and also if 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 you if you basically um, have kids that you need to um, to put into any of these institutions, Winnipeg is a great place um, to be in. We have the most affordable and and uh, the, the most uh, the least expensive um, child care options in Winnipeg. For the eleventh basically is uh, the university now in Winnipeg we have two major university we have the University of Manitoba and the University of Winnipeg now the University of Manitoba was um, formed in 1877 and basically it's located in the Fort Gary area of the city now um, for the University of Winnipeg the University of Winnipeg has a lot they have lots of camp campuses um, scattered around the downside area the, the, the down the downtown area rather so they have a um, couple of um, campuses spread around um, the region and those are the two major universities in Winnipeg so if you're the, if you're a lover of sports uh, Winnipeg is a great place to be in we have different sports um, activities in Winnipeg um, we have um, in, in terms of sports, you'll be sharing a city with 2019 um, Canadian Football League, the CFL, the Great Cup champions, the expected name and Winnipeg Blue Bumpers, and while the city beloved Jets represent the city and wider region in National Hockey League. So, uh, basically, those are the 12 um, things you need to know when living in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So, if you plan on moving if you plan on moving to winnipeg manitoba um give us a call send us a text send us an email however you want to get to us because we got your back in moving to winnipeg make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we do a new video and if you have any other things um that you love to share uh please share in the comments below uh, and on to the next video i'll catch you later